One of the questions that we're looking at, how can we get more salmon habitat into the Duwamish River? Using biomimicry, using nature-based design, we can address our problems with stormwater and habitat loss. I live in South Park, around 10 minutes from that, that place. For me, the, that experience is the most important to integrate the science community project to the community, because the community is part of the river. Historically, all of south of downtown was a huge intertidal marsh with quiet water, full of wetland plants, and lots of insects. So when people used to talk about two, 300 pound Chinook, that's why we had two or 300 pound Chinook, because they had the habitat to rear. That habitat's all gone. We have very industrialized and urban shorelines. The stormwater runoff uh, carries a whole payload of, of toxicants. Nature's kidneys is what wetlands are known as. They trap stormwater runoff and help sediment settle out. We've seen our results trend in positive directions, that we are producing good habitat for salmon. We're taking a lot of the lessons that we've learned from the Duwamish and starting to apply those to new locations.